Hello everyone. <laughs> Today, as you have seen, socks, but you may have thought that I knit them from the toe to the cuff, including the heel. But the reality is that I knit them five years ago. So maybe a clip on here. How did I present them five years ago? So I have two beauties over here and uh, what I can say about it I can say that I casted on 64 stitches. I did a rowing over here two by two with 20 rows, I think. I used 20 rows. Then I was doing a stocking knit stitch, so plain vanilla and fish lips kiss heel. And I love this flat fish lips kiss heel because I'm mm, reversing. I learned how to reverse and I'm quite confident with that. So I like it. This is the yarn. And what else I can say about it? This is 75% wool and 25% polyamid so that's that apparently I can wash it probably gentle wash and what they do they give you examples three examples on the side so it's not the one that you have it could be with the different colors so I have the middle one I guessed I have a middle one so as you can probably notice there are like um let's call it gray and white areas with some kind of different pattern, stripe, color pattern, and I don't have it here because once I did this, it didn't go the way I wanted it to, it didn't look nice, so I chopped it off. And now, how they look now with their second life. can see there are more festive and just to prove my point um, there was either I will throw them away or I'll try to save at least some of them so as you can see these are the original foot part where you have holes on two they're like mittens now <laughs> and the fabric over here is very very thin I could not do anything about it and I by examining the heel heel wasn't really great either, therefore my call was to just put the needles around the cuff area and then remove the stitches. And that's what I did. So maybe there is a glimpse over here with uh, some footage that I took on my phone. So I enjoy that for a while. Hopefully that'll make sense a little bit. Uh, so let me tell you how I did that. So basically when you have a sock that needs to be mending, fixing, you lift up the right leg of the stitch. So you know, they have a, you have a, the Vs. Um, and then you go around. You try to keep the same round of course. And then what you do, because we don't need anything to do with the foot, which I'm going to throw it away, um, I had to snap below it, uh, below that cord, which I use long circular knitting needles, and I snapped in a few places just for me so it would be easier to unravel, and then I was able to separate it, and then I was looking for just one strand to have it there so I will have something to wave in and DM. So when it happens to you, try not to cut it, leave a little bit and start knitting straight away with it because that can unravel. Believe you me, it took me a while and the second sock I decided just to literally go and cut the, the sock off with the scissors uh, slightly higher so I could literally pick up those little pieces put on the side and start unraveling and I was hoping to get to the area where I have the cord for the knitting needles. Unfortunately, bone situations, it, did, it wasn't as easy as I thought and I had to unravel slowly, stitch by stitch to get that little tail. And from that moment when I got that tail, I was able and free to knit. And to do so, I got a beautiful set from a viewer with those little opal minis and I figure out that the two of them from that set looks quite similar. So I use them over here. And as you can see, 
I use them all. And then I grab actually this one and I thought it's just green with greys, but it appeared to have different colours. So I used a little bit with green going into grey. And then when I was knitting another one, it turned out there's a little bit yellow and a little bit pinkish. I finished with this beautiful green yarn for toes and heels because I knew there might not be matchy matchy so this is the best thing to do to match socks with heels and toes so you know that they're from one pair. So I'll definitely be doing that still with this yarn that's probably my aim for it because it knits up beautifully I'm going to show you that in a sec. Austerm, Austermann step I think that's the that's that this is the yarn commercial one. I've knit already a pair of socks. I had some leftovers. Um, so I'm going to maybe put this link over here if you're interested how I knit them up. And uh, this is this is how they knit up over here. So they give a little bit stripey effect, but I did not mind with the socks and I'm going to pack them and give them to Sep for Christmas because they look like new. And as you can see, I can still, I haven't block it, wash it or anything like that. I still have those little pieces here and there. I have a video about it, but maybe I'll show you how I like to fold socks. So if I had a bigger belly, <laughs> um, I'll just put them flat. These go on the side, over, and I'm tucking in the toe inside the cuff. And you have nice bundle up here if you just want to pack it and give it to a friend. For posting perspective, I would suggest to put them side by side flat because the post will charge you more. So this is kind of a lovely bundle that I'm able to pack and write down set on the top and put it under our Christmas tree. If you haven't knitted socks before, maybe over here I'll tempt you to go and check this channel's members area where I put extra content and one of the, that content is also some giveaways, hand knitted socks uh, or customized hand knit socks. So level two on the screen you can see for December that we have this lovely, this lovely basket of yarn and I am showing you yarn that you can pick and then if you are a winner I will knit socks. Then we have level one and up where also level two can take part. I already knitted a pair of socks, one size, whatever that is, it is. And if you really like it, you can join and enter. And remember to join, you have to comment under the video. That way I know that you're interested to take part. But if you are not a member, that's no problem. In December, 2021, I have knitted a pair of socks that I'm gifting away. So you can definitely check it out. The only thing you need to be is a subscriber. So when you leave the comment under a VAD video, make sure to write down in brackets that you are because YouTube is hiding things. And sometimes I don't know who is a subscriber and who isn't. So whatever you write down, I will believe you. <laughs> I hope you won't lie. So yeah, and in regards to this video, I would be interested to know, have you ever fixed socks? Did you fix the hole? Did you do like I did complete sock surgeon method by just removing a piece and putting a new in? I would be interested to hear. Let me know that you enjoy the whole process. I found it very rewarding. I can't wait to fix another socks, probably next year. Because how it looks, Seb socks that I needed five years ago, I start breaking so that's that it is a pleasure to have you here till the next one bye